Hey, hello and welcome back once again. In this video, I'm going to center drill the bolt hole circle with a quarter inch diameter center drill. Now, there are many methods to select the center points of the holes. In this example, I'm going to be using the mask on arc function. Next up, I'll drill all the 3 16th holes on the bolt hole circle through the part. Now for this example, I'm going to copy the center drill operations and then modify the copied operations into the 3 16th diameter operation. So let's get started. Now first up, what I'm going to do is click Alt-T on my keyboard to hide the display of toolpaths. Next up, we're going to move into toolpaths and second on the list, drill. Now we're prompted to select points and over on the left the drill point selection dialog box shows up. Now what I'm going to do is click on mask on arc and I'm prompted to select arc to match and what I'm going to do is pick this 3 16th diameter hole here. Now as you can see the diameter has been updated to 0.1875. Now I'm prompted to select arcs, hit enter when finished. What I'm going to do is move on up and click on the all button here. Now when the select all dialog box shows up, all I'm going to do is click on all entities. And then over on the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to click on end selection. Now as you can see, it's captured all the center points of those circles. Now, before we move on, let's explore how you can change the order of drilling and start with the hole at 12 o'clock. That's this guy up here. And what we'll do is we'll continue in a counterclockwise direction for the drilling of the remaining holes. Now, what I'm going to do is over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on sorting and then down at the very bottom of the sorting dialog box I'm going to click on point to point. Now we're done here, I'm going to click on OK. Now as you can see the prompt changes on the screen select sorting start point. Now what I want to do is start at this hole at 12 o'clock so what I'm going to do is pick this point and as you can see when I get to the center there's that visual cue that denotes I'm going to pick that point. So I'm going to pick it. Now we're done here. Over on the left hand side I'm going to click on OK. So we end up we're going to be drilling that first hole at 12 o'clock and then it's going to be moving around from hole to hole in a counterclockwise direction. So here we are on the toolpath type page with drill set. Let's move over to the tool page and what we're after is a quarter inch diameter end mill. So gonna, uh, not a quarter inch diameter end mill, a quarter inch diameter center drill. So let's click on select library tool and what I'm going to do is pick this guy here. There's our quarter inch center drill. Now I've got it picked, I'm going to pick on OK. Next up, let's go and alter the feeds and speeds. So for the feed rate, I'm going to change that to 7 and the spindle speed, 5,000. So we're all looking good here. Let's move over now to cut parameters. Now on the cut parameters page, I'm just going to leave drill, counter bore as is. Next up, over on link in parameters, starting at the top, you can see clearance is activated. It's set to absolute and we've got a value of two inches there, so that's perfect. And we've also activated use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Perfect. Retract is in absolute, set to 0 0.6, beautiful. Now the top of the stock is in absolute, and it's set to 0.5. I'm going to change that to 0 0.45. Now for the depth, down below, I'm going to change that to 0.3 looks good. Now if we move on over and check out the coolant situation, as you can see it's turned on. Now I'm going to click on OK and there's our center drilling operation. Now next up we're going to drill the bolt hole circle 
But what we're going to do is use these operations, make a copy of them, and then go and modify the parameters into our 3 16th drill operation. So all I'm going to do is click on this folder and drag down and pick copy after. Now before we move on, the red insert marker, I'm just going to drop that down to the bottom. So we're looking good. Now at present, operation 4 and 5 are exactly the same. So what we need to do is go into the parameters for this fifth operation. We've got a few things to change. Now first up, let's go back to the tool page and what we're after is a 3 16 diameter dr drill 0.1875. So I'm going to click on select library tool and let's scroll on down and find ourselves a 3 16 drill. And there it is. So I've picked it, going to click on OK. Now for the feeds and speeds, the feed rate, going to change that to 12 inches a minute. And for the spindle speed, going to leave that at 5,000. Next up, let's move over to cut parameters. Now at present, we're set to drill counterbore. But what I want to do is change this to PEC drill. Now at the at present the peck amount is set to 0.1. I'm going to change that to 0 0.2. So the peck sets the depth that the tool rapids to between peck moves. This value is added to the previously drilled peck depth. Now the drill we're using is only 3 16 diameter. By peck drilling you allow the chips to clear from the flute of the drill as it retracts between pecks. Now this avoids clogging the drill and possible breakages. So in this example the drill cuts 0.2 deep and then retracts. Let's go check out linking parameters. So we've got our clearance set to 2 inch, beautiful. Our retract 0.6, top of stock is set to 0.45. Now our depth at present is set to 0.3. I'm going to change it to 0. Now, Z0 is the bottom of the part. So what I'm going to do is move over on the left, go into tip comp, and then activate tip comp. Now, for the breakthrough amount, I'm going to change that to 0 0.1. Now, if we move down and check out the coolant, you can see it's on. In the previous operation, we set it on, and this is just a duplicate of operation 4. So we're all looking good here. Going to click on OK. Now, as you can see, we've got a dirty operation here, denoted by the red X. Just going to move on up and click on Regenerate All Dirty Operation. Now, this completes this drilling operation and this video. Thanks so much for watching.